As a Python developer, it's a common job to write Python scripts and run them in the background. In this video, we will introduce how to run Python scripts in the background with the ampersand and the nohub command. We will also introduce how to check the processes and logs, especially when the terminal running the script is closed. First, let's write a simple Python script sleep.py which takes 60 seconds to run and will print a number every second. The easiest way to run a script in the background is by appending an ampersand to the end of the command, as shown in this example. However, since our script constantly prints logs in the console, the logs will just keep popping up, and we can't do anything else in the same terminal. This is not convenient. When a script is run in the background, we normally don't want to see the logs popping up all the time. Instead, we want the logs to be saved in a file that can be checked later when the job is completed. This can be done with standard output and standard error redirections. The special syntax means redirecting both standard output and standard error to the same file sleep.log. However, if you check the log file before the script is completed, you will see nothing logged there. This is because the logs are buffered by default to improve I.O. efficiency. For demonstration, we can use the dash U option of Python to force the standard output and standard error streams to be unbuffered so we can see the logs live. An issue with the ampersand is that if you exit the terminal, the running job will be stopped. This may not be an issue if you run the script on your local computer. However, it is a critical issue if the script is run on a remote computer as we can get disconnected for various reasons. To solve this problem, we can use the nohub command which will keep the job running even after the terminal is closed. The jobs command in Linux can be used to manage background and suspended jobs in the current shell. Note that it can only be used in the current shell where the background jobs were started. We can kill the job by job ID, which is 1 in this case. We can also use the minus 9 option for a more forceful kill. It's a bit more challenging to find the process running the script with no hub when the terminal is closed. There are various ways to do it. We will introduce two that we use frequently. We can use lsof to check the log file. LSOF lists all processes that have sleep.log open, showing you which commands are writing to it. We can then kill the process by process ID, namely PID. We can also find the process ID by script name with the PS and grep commands, as shown in this example. In this video, we introduced how to run Python scripts in the background with the ampersand and the nohub command. It's recommended to always use the nohub command to run scripts in the background in case the terminal is closed for any reason. Otherwise, your job may be stopped accidentally, and you will have to restart it, if it's restartable. Otherwise, you will need to run it from scratch. Besides, we also introduced how to check the processes and logs, especially when the terminal running the script is closed. This is it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel for more content. As a senior software developer, I'm passionate about sharing my thoughts, tutorials, and solutions to promote best practices in software development. See you in the next video.